Looking ahead now, a small South Strand community may have found a solution to its ongoing first responder woes. Our Eric Richards joins us live in Surfside Beach to tell us more about this plan and also break down what it means for locals. Eric. Well, Eric, uh, Surfside Beach Town Council signed off on the proposal to restructure the police department. Interim Chief uh, Davis tells me that the public here shouldn't be worried because this proposal aims to keep the staff, uh, increase the staffing of the police department. Essentially, this was being done to hang on to some officers and to stop um, the flow of officers out of this agency to other agencies. The decision comes amid an inquiry into turnover rates within the department that particularly prompted former chief Kenneth Hoffman to leave his job in early May. His replacement is now working to combat the attrition, eliminating two of the agency's jobs to better compensate other officers. What we have done is we have reallocated the positions for um, or, or duties for the positions of lieutenant and the other investigator. Uh, and we're moving forward based upon that. The move frees up about $200,000, which in part will raise the starting pay for officers from $43,000 to around $53,000. Now, we still have some, a couple of positions that are frozen, Eric, mm -hmm. and w what our plan on there is, you know, we will, we will do, a, it's called a power shift or a shift reallocation um, program. We mm -hmm. will we will shuffle people uh, into time slots that are that are our busiest, so we will have uh, maximum sustained coverage for. Them. But will this plan to bump up pay actually work when officers can go to a neighboring department and make more money? Mayor Robert Krauss believes it can. But I, I think we're going to see some uh, increased interest here when we do that. Uh, from what I'm hearing, there's already some people uh, making some inquiries. Now the changes go into effect on July 1st. In the meantime, the town is still looking for its next top cop, and they've extended the application process another 30 days. Kraus telling me that they've received so far 25 applications. Reporting live in Surfside Beach, Eric Richards, WMBF News.